health bars are found in a lot of games, from shooters to platformers, RPGs and many others, and they're used to give a quick visual indication of player, enemy or object health. By the end of this video, we'll create a fully customizable health bar class, which updates based on the remaining health. A simple health bar is made up of two rectangles, the maximum health, which is often shown in red, and the remaining health, which is often shown in green. When drawn on top of each other, these two rectangles become a health bar. This is the sample code to draw those rectangles. Notice that the second one has an additional variable called ratio. This is the ratio of remaining health to maximum health and allows us to adjust the width accordingly like this. The ratio can be calculated by dividing the remaining health by the maximum health. Now let's pull that code together into a class. I've got a bit of starter code here with the game window, loop and event handler. I'll create a health bar class and then paste in the constructor. This takes a few arguments, which are the x and y coordinates, the width and height, and the max HP that this health bar will be set to. All of these variables are then assigned to a self variable. Notice that HP is set to the value of max HP, since we assume it begins at full health. Then we'll create the draw method. The only argument this method takes is the display surface to draw it on. It begins by calculating the health ratio. Now using all of these values, we draw the two rectangles on top of each other to create our health bar. We can test this now by creating a health bar object and passing some parameters into it. Then we call the health bar draw method and when we run this we get a health bar on full health. Now if I drop the health variable down to 50 the bar drops down to half and that's how you create a health bar. If you found this useful then don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.